Never fear America Billy Bob loves science And he's here to teach you some So they've been preaching for decades. See, now watch that cholesterol. Cut back on fried chicken. You know, fried chicken, do some cardio or your heart's going to tap out. But now scientists in Finland and the UK are like, hold up, heart attacks, they might be infectious. Yeah, like you can catch one. Here's what they found. Inside clogged arteries, there's not just fat and cholesterol. No, man, there are bacterial biofilms. Imagine tiny gangs of bacteria chilling in slime condos rent-free. They don't pay utilities. They don't pay rent. They just hide out for years. And your immune system walks by like mall security. A, they look fine. Now here's the messed up part. These biofilms stay dormant until something wakes them up, like a virus. You get the flu, and suddenly the bacteria in your arteries are like party at Dave's place. They multiply stir up inflammation, weaken the plaque walls, and boom, the whole thing bursts. Blood clot, blocked artery, heart attack, all because your microscopic tenants decided to rage. And guess where a lot of this bacteria DNA comes from? Your mouth. Yep, your gums. The same little germs your dentist nags you about Turns out flossing isn't just about impressing dates with fresh breath. Nah, it's about preventing bacteria from packing their bags and moving into your arteries. This is serious science too. Teams at Tampere University, Olu, Oxford, they've been digging through tissue samples, finding DNA from oral bacteria inside, inside plaques even developing antibodies to highlight these biofilm hideouts, published in the Journal of the American Heart Association. Not a TikTok theory. This is the real deal. So what's the upside? If heart disease has an infectious trigger, Doctors could fight, uh, fight it like an infection. The new tests to spot biofilms, maybe antibiotics that actually work on them, or even vaccines, yep, a shot to prevent heart attacks. Imagine the future flu shot, COVID booster, anti-heart attack vaccine next but here's the punchline. You can run five miles a day, eat kale, meditate, whatever. But if you don't brush your teeth, those little plaque squatters might be plotting your downfall. The treadmill won't save you from uh, gingivitis gangsters. So yeah, eat healthy, exercise, and floss. Because the last thing you want is bacteria from last night's pizza crust throwing a rave in your arteries. Hey, if you learn something new, show some love. Like, share, and subscribe. It's cheaper than gym membership and less painful than flossing. 